friends. I have um, a brand new journal flip through for you. This is the bird journal for the birds. And um, this journal is bird themed, <laughs> go figure. She measures about five and a half by eight and a half eh, in that range. Uh, there is a paper cover with a fabric spine that is stitched like so. Just paper on the back. She has a stitched fabric closure. Lots of little bits, charms. We'll go through the whole thing. There she is. This is approximately a little bit of a gator mouth, but when you take out some of the stuff that's in there and kind of use it throughout the journal, it'll go down. So currently the spine is about one and a half. And like I said, a little gator on this side. Okay, on the front we have um, these two removable journal cards. This has some feathers some eggs and then that pocket there you can add whatever you like so there's a little tuck um, a little uh, faux book plate there and a lovely blue bird let's open her up the tie closure is very sturdy it goes throughout the back of the journal and that, so this isn't going to pull out on you. And I'll steam this out before I send it to you, but it'll stay in place. We open it up here and we have a little journal card here tucked in the side. I'm leaving all these ends. You can cut them off if you'd like when you get the journal. So we have that there. I'm going to make sure it goes in all the way. Okay, we have a couple of journal cards here in this pocket. This is a lovely Orioles nest. And these are sturdy, so you can write on them. And they'll hold up well. We have a lovely little bird stamp here. Little postcard as the pocket. Uh, a book plate for you to fill in your name that is removable it's clipped in now and you could glue it right in to the journal if you'd like but if you didn't like the design I wanted to give you the option to take it out I'm just gonna clip that back it's got like a mini bulldog clip okay lots of journaling space so we've got these coffee dyed and tea dyed papers throughout a lot of room to write or add your own touch. We have a little journaling piece of paper here with some tea dyed paper, nothing fancy. It's just blank, fold it up to look like a little envelope. And we have a little pocket here with another postcard, some music paper. This is some handmade paper I made. We have a little tab here with a mushroom charm. Hard to see, I got some sunlight streaming in, which is lovely, but doesn't make for good videotaping. There we go. And that is removable, so you can take that out and use it somewhere else if you'd like. Some authentic ledger paper, some more tea dyed paper, a little pocket here with eggs these came out of a um a bird book which i talk about in one of my recent videos like a reader's digest book um we have another little pocket here there's no card in here but there's plenty of room for you to add your own and in this pocket we have um well, we have some bird designs going on there and then we have this little guy and we have this beautiful tag with some that's a stamp and then we have another one of those postcards and you can journal on the back 
And those all tuck in here. And you know what? I am going to just add another journal card in there before I send it out. On this side, we have this um, paper clip, this floating paper clip. And it's holding this envelope with a bunch of extra pieces and uh, cutouts, fussy cuts that you can use throughout the journal. I don't know why it won't go back in now. I'll put that back in after. But that is held on by this lovely little invisible paper clip and we just have some uh, fabric that's been stitched this is a little flip with another journaling space here a little bird nice little die cut lots of journaling space more ledger paper more of that handmade paper Another little bird. This is a little pocket with another little journaling spot. Tucks in here. Some more music paper. Some paper to journal on. I've put some stamps throughout so you could just have some little spaces to liven it up. This is another floating paper clip and it can also be used as a tab so it just sits on any page Let's see if we can get it to go like so i like it at the top so the birdie is sitting at the top and that's the first signature it's got three total signatures so on to the second one we have some more journaling space another pocket here with another piece of paper from that bird book to Reader's Digest bird book. And I have this floating butterfly accent that this kind of can move anywhere in the journal, I'm giving it a very good go. But it just floats around and it's actually two magnets that are stuck together so you can take it and put it anywhere you want in the journal move it around put it anywhere put it back here lots of little fabric tabs we got this lovely little specimen card with a butterfly or a moth I'm not sure which is which in this case they all look so pretty and that slides back in here like so so I'm with a little paper clip. This is just some uh, tissue paper that's been printed on. Tea dyed lined paper, regular paper. Um, this is a little envelope that opens up and you have some tags and some more journaling cards in there, all with these lovely birds on them. So cute. And that just goes back over the page like so and i just have it clipped in place but you could put it some anywhere else you could tuck it into a pocket and a lovely flower this is a double pocket with two tags these lovely little bluebirds and you can writing space on the other side actually you go here you go here Lots more space with a little feather. Another pocket with two tags, actually two tags and a journal card. And we have this one, we have this one, a little bird there, and some feathers. And those all tuck into here. A little bird stamp there on some more of that green fabric. Uh, just some tickets. It says the Royal Bird Sanctuary. There's a pocket behind here with another tag. And this pocket opens up here. And there is a page about nightingales and songbirds here. And the woodpecker. So this is out of a book called, what is it? Birds, 
feathers eggs nest or something close to that and um this page came out of there yeah i think it's bird feathers eggs nest that's that i put a little strip of that fabric in here for you so you could use it for some more tabs and it's just attached with another one of these magnetic clips whoops <laughs> with a little chickadee on there and another little bird on the other side. And so it's not stapled in or anything. You can just easily remove it and use it throughout. We have another tab here with a wooden charm that says grungy. And this one is also removable, some music paper and this is a belly band with a little matchbook style notebook the little bird and just some writing paper or paper you can tear out and use throughout the journal and it's got some more birds there on the back and this just kind of tucks in matchbook style some eggs on that side some journaling space a little tuck here with a couple of bird quotes more journaling space more of that tissue it's nice writing space that I stenciled on we have a pocket here with this journal card that opens and it doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. So true. And this has a little bluebird tag in it. Um, this is one of those flip out journaling spaces that looks like a little envelope. And behind it, we have a tag with a little bird. This is a piece of vellum that's um, printed on and I just washi taped it in so you could take it out and use it throughout the journal. And there's some extra pieces of the vellum here, one with some eggs and one with this little, little bird. This is from Tim Holtz, I think it's Wallflowers. More space, so that's the end of um, Oh my goodness that signature <laughs> all right we have um, another little tab here with a brass pin so that's removable another one of those specimen cards slides just some more writing space with a little bird washi there adorable um, this is a little paper scrap pad that you can take pieces out of and use throughout the journal. There's some handmade pieces, there's some music paper, book page, and so on. And on the back, it just has these little birds and just, um, you know, little added pieces. And I'm just sliding that over the page. Makes a little tab up here. More handmade paper, another one of those floating paper clips. Behind this one, I just have a little card that you could turn into something for the journal and a little bit of writing paper. Another pocket with a little handmade bird stamp there that I made. Um, I die cut out a bunch of Tim Holtz birds and I stacked them on each other and then I put them on a piece of book board and then uh, made a stamp. And inside here just a piece of writing paper and this is the back a little feather and it says amazing another little bird stamp uh, just some washi up this side again there's a lot of room in here to write and it does lay mostly flat so it, you know it's not going to be hard to journal in this this is another one of those that open up. I put a little bird in there and that tucks in this pocket. 
Um, this is another magnet that's holding on some more of that blue um, fabric that you can use for tabs or however. And that is attached to this other magnet here. There's another tab here with a little, it's hard to see. Let's see if I can move it over. It's like a feather charm. Of course it's not going to cooperate. <laughs> there, I hope you can see. And yeah, just seek adventure that opens your heart and mind. This is a little punch out that shows off a little mushroom stamp. And then when you flip it this way, it shows off this little fern stamp. So just some fun accents. Uh, another tuck with another bird quote in there. Just some more writing space. Little page accents. I love the texture here. Another little pocket. In here we have some of that ledger paper that you can use. Um, we have a vellum envelope with a tie. And inside we have another piece of the book page from that Reader's Digest book. And it's got a gull, lots of little birds on it. I just thought it was fun. So put that in there. And then you can untie this if you'd like, but I'm not going to so that I can put it back on, hopefully. There we go. And then that's just on with another bulldog clip. Another little blue jay there. Some more of that coffee dyed paper. The pattern on it. It's just so lovely. Very textural. More journaling space. Another little tuck here with a journal card. And then this is the last back of the well, the, the back of the journal. And inside, I have an Edith Holden page. And after April, when May follows, and the white throat builds, and all the swallows. It's just got a little verse about May. And some birds with their nest. Just lovely. And that is her. That is it. And she is now up in the Etsy store. You can take a look. Actually, I'm sorry. She's not up in the Etsy store. She's only available inside my personal web shop. So if you're interested, you can head over to hitherandyonstudio.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can check her out. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little flip through. Maybe gave you some ideas for your own journal. And if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up so YouTube knows that you liked it. Thanks for stopping by and I hope to see you soon. Take care.